Hello, Gracie Smallwood here. I'm a Virugubba Kalkadoon South Sea woman from North Queensland, Townsville, and been advocating for 50 years, but not as long as my brother Gilla Anderson, who's here at The Rock uh, with others. Um, 300 participants here at the Constitutional Convention uh, meeting, and um, uh, Gil is one of my heroes, political heroes, like many brothers and sisters, and unfortunately many have gone. But um, every conference to do with uh, First Nations Affairs should have a demonstration, it doesn't matter what the topic is. We have the worst health, system, uh, health statistics in the world per head of population, we have um, chronic diseases that developing countries have eradicated. We have the highest incarceration rate with 3% of the national population and we're still in poverty. So I believe that uh, demonstrations are healthy, whether there be 10,000 people at the conference and 10 demonstrators, it's still good because five, six years ago when there was a native title conference in Townsville, there were probably 10 of us out the front, but we made a statement. So what activists like myself and Giller and others, we want to make sure that the sovereignty is never seceded because we've never given up our sovereign rights and that's what we want. We also want a treaty. And of course we have to be in the constitution, but it's not on the preamble and it should be our terms of reference. So that's what I believe the demonstration was about and people leaving. And it's quite healthy to have demonstrations because it gives the two perspectives. If there was not even one sole demonstrator, National Black Australia would be very concerned. So this is the beginning of another era for our children. We do know the government has sold us out after the High Court decision on the 1992 Mabo High Court decision where they warded down with a 10 point plan, we, the activists called it the 10 point scam because it was the devastation of all of our communities where we as sovereign people have to prove that we came from that area and most of the people that are now making that decision are white anthropologists, white archaeologists and white lawyers. And they're the ones that are making all the money on our poverty and social determinants of health. So that's what Giller and the activists were keeping focused on, that don't lose sight that we've never seceded our sovereignty. And Giller being one of the four 10 embassy brothers from 1972 and the only one still there and he's still standing and still fighting. So in a close up, uh, Everybody has come together. It is a long journey, but people like Giller and I may not be around for the next get together, but we hope that the contribution that activists have made will give some form of a better living conditions and a better life for our future generations. And Wadamulli, which means farewell and, good, and hello in our Birugaba language. And we will have the privilege of having Giller in our country in two weeks' time giving a presentation at the Native Title Conference. Thank you.